When I say the word uncomfortable, what is the first thing that comes up for you? Take a moment. All right. Is it a feeling? Is it an emotion? Is it something that is that doesn't feel good? Most likely it is because discomfort and pain by the virtue of what they are generally is uncomfortable and doesn't feel good. When your hand touches something hot, your pain receptors in the brain send your pain receptor in the hand send a message to the brain to pull away. And that is what we tend to do when something doesn't feel good, something is uncomfortable. Let's break it all down. My name is Igor Schwartzman and I believe there's a way we can be comfortable in the uncomfortable. When there's something that's painful or uncomfortable in a conversation, when something is painful or, or uncomfortable in the stages or the steps that we need to take on a daily basis to feel to improve our physical health, to improve our emotional health, to improve our work relationships, or make a change in life, we can do that by simply taking one step, and that is the first step to challenge ourselves. Inherently, we are creatures of curiosity. We want to learn, we want to grow. The problem is we also want to avoid pain and discomfort. And there's no growth unless we have an opportunity within the uncomfortable place. Unless you're challenged, you're most likely going to be comfortable. And why bother? I feel good. Life is good. Everything. Why rock the boat? That experience may actually lead you to complacency. It may lead you to being indifferent. And that is not uncommon for people to be comfortable because it feels better than pain and challenge than discomfort. Well, when you challenge yourself for 50 days to do something new, when you challenge yourself for seven days to do something new, sometimes it doesn't feel good. But imagine what and how you can grow from that experience alone just by doing something new, just by trying something new. So when you think about the recent research that's showing us how we can actually prevent our chronic brain degeneration with learning a new skill, learning a new language, learning something new as opposed to simply doing a crossword puzzle, we now have had an opportunity to challenge ourselves and grow and learn and move forward. And that doesn't always feel good when we're doing it within the first initial stages of doing it. But imagine what arises from within that experience. So when you challenge yourself as hard or as uncomfortable it is, you grow. Share your experience with me. I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to learn from you. I would love to grow with you. Comment down below and I look forward to seeing you next time.